Hi, um, my weight right now is 242.6. I just did a meditation on, um, uh, Tibet. And, um, I surrounded myself with angel cards, crystal, quartz crystals, and a smoky quartz crystal, um, a Buddha, rocks, a bottle, and some other stuff. Um, the angel cards really helped. I really, I'm really in tune with angels. Um, I need to get an archangel deck because, uh, that's Christian and Golden. Um, the Golden Arches of McDonald's remind me of Archangels. And they could really help me because I'm really in line with them as mentors um, because they have a lot of authority and they're exactly what I need. Um, and I don't know all the Archangels, so I'd like to learn their names and what they look like. Um, someone's interpretation of how they look like. Um, I wonder how many there are. And, um, I know there's Archangel Michael. The Archangel... Is Raphael one? I think so. Um, Raphael's a healing angel. Um, Daniel? Uh, and Michael. That's all I know. I never really learned about archangels um, in Christian in my Christianity um, preschool, um, nor the few sessions I've gone to at the Christian church. Um, but I'm learning about them through like we got a new age stuff. Um, I like this route better because they seem happier and more golden and willing to help me other than just like really big let's just look up to them we're like oh my gosh that's huge um in wicca and stuff they really talk to me instead of um just being there to look at it really helps um jesus has even like appeared to me a few times in uh, my, uh, I want to say meditations for some reason, but um, like OBEs and stuff. Um, I think that there's some beings that are hard to get into contact with, even if you can do really cool occult things. Um, it's like a big map, and there's some places that aren't reached all the time and so when you do reach it it's like okay that's special um so about Tibet um I'm thinking of houses right now and I'm wondering if they have windows um I assume they'd have like holes cut in their houses for windows but um uh, I don't know if they have glass or anything um, but it's really pretty in Tibet and the air is clear. Um, I remember that movie about Tibet with that blue eyed guy and it just looks so clean. Like the air is like glass or something. And it's just cool. They have a lot of knowledge and wisdom there. And a guide was helping me understand myself. I could actually talk their language because they talk to it and not the personality. So I could commune with them and we could talk um, energy wise. So that was really cool. Um, I don't really remember any of the other things I went to during my meditation um that's because I like to do stream of conscious meditations whatever happens happens I like to um, talk about my meditations a lot um, so I know what happens and what my common themes are 
Um, I don't really remember exactly what happened. I don't light incense anymore because I've been having trouble breathing and um, I can do it really well without incense so I've stopped that but incense does make it a lot different it puts you in a mood um so I just light candles I have three candles right now red white and then a little tea candle in a holder from the dollar store um I really wish I remembered I remember okay the ones that were around me, the angels, there was one, there was Raphael for healing, there was this really big bold black woman, um, that's like strength to me, and there was a pretty girl, um, that was love, and there was the light worker card, um, like a light worker, um, I don't remember the other ones, but, um, no, is it when you draw the card, I don't think it's telling you that this is who you are, it like massages your energy at the time you draw them, and in the formation that you pull, put them in, um, because your energy can read it, so if you intuitively grasp the meanings, then you can, or you can just put them down there and <clears throat> your unconscious mind will um, read it and learn about it. I do like clear quartz crystals. I have a, a big one, a pretty big one, a mediocrely big one. It's fat and um, it has a slant and it reminds me of uh, Bina, like ice crystals forming, um, and points black to Ezekiel. I can't pronounce his name. I'm, I pronounce his name like Ezekiel, so maybe I'm supposed to associate him with Ezekiel and the vision of all those wheels. Um, I read somewhere that Ezekiel's like on the right hand of God or whatever, and like Michael's on the left hand or something, or it's switched around. Um, I just don't get how a person could get up there in so much authority. Um, that's just like a story though, and there's so many stories out there. Um, I just think that all the people who drew what he saw is totally wrong. It just does not resonate with me, um, the, that chariot that, that he drew, um, with wheels and like, I remember wings and animals on it or something um but I wouldn't say that I, th I think it would be much holier um if it would be a chariot then um it's not very holy as I think of it what he saw I think was like ecstatically golden like sparks um not like a machine but um Frightening glory. Frightening glory. And it probably scared him. And so, um, that was his way of ascending to new heights. The fear of God. Um, I had a whisper that I'm ascending through mercy. That's what the Buddha said. Um, so I also heard you could ascend through um, grace, and that's what um, Mother Mary did, um, according to a source. Um, and there's also another way to ascend, but um, there's so many other ways out there. It's just when you hear it, if it rings true to you, then you can add it to your story of life. So I've been talking to a lot of spirits lately. Um, I had a massage today. Oh, I love that. I have one massage every month. I'm on a monthly club deal at Elements. Um, it's really nice. I like the environment there. It's peaceful. It reminds me of my spirit guide. Um, 
Jababa Fay. He used that name. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what he names me. I'm like holding on to him, you know. <laughs> um, the girls that are really nice this time. Um, the one who received me in the beginning, she was astute and learned and had a heart, you know. Um, she was patient and she could understand who I am. When I came out, they tested me and were very happy, um, so I reflected that to them. And um, it gave them a piece of me. And so it ex exorcised that happiness from me. So I don't like being really happy. Um, but when I go into a room of like happy girls and they look at me and want me to be happy, I get confused because uh, I don't want to give them my happiness. I'd be leading them astray, you know? But my spirit guide, he wants me to react like that right now because he thinks I can handle the exorcism. Um, of giving them holiness in their mannerisms and they usually internalize it as I've experienced so far um, they become softer and milder and um, happier more in tune with life and Jesus and um, healing and just the holiness of it all they still retain their personalities you know um, they're the exact same it's so gentle and mild as it happens. You don't even notice a difference. Um, nobody notices any differences because they're not awake. Um, if they were awake, they'd see a lot of stuff. A lot of people don't want to meddle with that right now because um, it's not time for them. But when you do wake up, um, it can be very hard. Um, it can be hard. It was hard for me. I think I am ascending through um, St. John, a path through that. Um, I read The Dark Night of the Soul and um, integrated that into my journey. Um, and it was a very dark night through the woods with Jesus. Um, and the woods were talking to me. And he dressed me in winter clothes and it was fall outside. I tend to put people in different states of minds. I manifest my craziness outwards, so when I'm ready, I'll have a purposeful explanation of who I am. I'm not gonna sell out to a cheap um, regimen. Um, the cheap regimen is really, really mad at me. Just a diet restriction. Um, that makes me want to run the other way, because I don't want to get caught. Um, why don't I want to get caught? Um, because if I got caught, then I couldn't talk on this and um, exercise my meanings into the world. If I got caught, then um, that means I should have tried harder at home. And I'm waking up to that again, and I'm trying hard again. Except I fear trying really hard, like post-traumatic stress disorder, um, probably. Um, I can't get too intense about anything or serious about anything because um, I go insane. So I'm taking it easy and telling my truth which shall make me peaceful in the future. Okay, I'll see you later, and I hope this helped you um, enjoy your life and meaning and learning, your treatise on life. Okay, bye.